New tonight for you. Toledo police are investigating after a couple leaving Franklin Park Mall's Bravo restaurant was robbed at gunpoint. This all took place on Valentine's Day and it once again makes safety in West Toledo top of mind. Tatiana Cash went out to talk to people about how they feel about the mall. It's always so busy and there's always so much going on there. It really doesn't surprise me anymore. Your best time to go to Mars is during the day. You know what I mean? Just make it back home if you want to make it back home to your family. Ann Smith says it's all about being smart when you're just out. It doesn't matter if you're at the mall, if you're at the grocery store, if you're in your church parking lot. Um, yeah, you just need to be ready for anything. WTOL 11 reached out to Franklin Park Mall after the Valentine's Day robbery, where police say three men in ski masks robbed two victims at gunpoint in the parking lot in front of Bravo Restaurant. Manager Julie Sanderson issued this statement. The safety of our guests, tenants, and employees is the highest priority of Franklin Park Mall. We thank Toledo Police for their swift and thorough response to the incident. This is an active investigation being led by the Toledo Police. And Friday night, WTO 11 received these pictures showing a security presence throughout the parking lot. And James Robinson says he misses the old days of Franklin Park. You know, back in the day, we could go in the mall, kick it, you know what I mean? They have, we might have to fight here and there, but it's like to the point now, it's a bunch of gangbanging going on in there. Since 2008, Franklin Park has been steadily enforcing curfews on youth being in the mall without parental supervision. <laughs> Especially after the 2019 brawl. But neither Ann or James think the solution is to just stop going to the mall. If you want to go, you should go. I'm not saying that people shouldn't go. Um, and yeah, I think that in this day and age, you just have to be cognizant and you need to pay attention no matter where you are. James says the issue is bigger than Franklin Park. I feel bad for the community and the younger generation right now because we have so much going on, you know what I mean? That's why it needs more advocates out here. But at the same time, you can't force nothing on these kids. You know, they don't want it, they don't want it. 